Welcome to this presentation of UPSL Soccer Action, live on YouTube and presented by the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. Hello everyone and welcome to Lakeside High School for this presentation of UPSL Georgia Premier Division action, Atlanta City FC versus Atlanta Rovers. And we are underway quickly here in the first 45. Atlanta City FC, they're gonna be in their red tops and white shorts. They're gonna be moving from right to left. Atlanta Rovers, they're gonna be in their blue tops and black shorts moving from left to right. Larry, we were bringing you all the coverage for Atlanta Soccer Media Group for today's matchup. Getting underway quickly here. All the way back to the keeper. Again, another two teams that a little bit of a different path when it comes to the playoffs right now. Atlanta Rovers in playoff contention. Atlanta City knocked out of the playoffs, but trying to fight their way back in. That ball sent long from the keeper for Rovers. We'll take a look at the table and all the information in just a minute. A foul committed there by City. City currently in eighth place. Two points out of the playoffs. City has two games left in their season. This game against the Rovers, and then they end their season away to Potros FC. Not going to be easy for them to find those points needed to get into the playoffs, but they're going to try. Throw in from City. Trying to hold him up and able to do so there. Ingram, number 20. That ball's gonna go out, it's gonna be a throw. Today's weather here in Atlanta, 56 degrees. This is definitely cool weather for us down here in the south. Only two mile an hour wind. We've had off and on precipitation the last two days. So the turf is gonna be definitely slick. That ball sent forward. City trying to clear it out, but Matthias just keeps pushing it in. Sexton oh, trying to get that ball to White, just not able to do so. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthias, shot taken. Easily grabbed by the keeper. Good work for City on a quick counter. Hernandez able to get down and save that. Going all the way back to the keeper. Cycle it over to this near side. Ingram, he sends it forward. Marcos trying to do something there. Taken off the ball by City. Sent forward. Rovers continuing to cut that ball off. Oh, 
Four minutes into the match. Still nil-nil. That ball's going to go straight up into the air. Ingram trying to hold off the two City players. See if he can earn a throw. City does a good job, but that ball does eventually go out. It will be a throw for the Rovers. Not the best throw, but it gets knocked out. It'll be a corner. That'll be a corner for the Rovers. They're first at the match. Again, like we said, this is week 12 of the UPSL Georgia Premier Division. Almost done. It's going to be an outswinger from Sexton. Into the box. Sexton receives it back. Lifted back towards the box. City. Letting that ball go all the way back and out for a goal kick. Good work by City player there. You see this weekend's schedule. Wednesday, Potros with the win over Kalanji Pro Profile 2-1. Atlanta United with the win Friday over Club De Stronga 6-1. And then yesterday, we brought you that amazing, exciting match between UMA and Kalanji Pro Profile that ended 2-2. UMA needing at least that one point. Maybe that's enough to get them through to the playoffs. Two po uh, three points would have really secured it for them. So they're going to need a little bit of help from some other friends to get them into the playoffs. Veno Tinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into, here's an opportunity for City. Offsides is the call. We went into yesterday's contest with 11 teams out of the 13 that had an opportunity to get into the playoffs. Earlier today, Veno Tinto loses to, Atl to Atlanta United Academy and that seals their fate out of the playoffs. So we're down to 10 teams with the possibility of holding those seven spots. That ball goes out, it'll be a throw. You look at the rest of the matches, North Georgia United with a great victory over FC Birmingham. That's going to hinder Birmingham's chances of making the playoffs, but they still have an opportunity. And that 10-0 victory this morning of Atlanta United over Veno Tinto. Atlanta United been on an absolute tear these last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City, they're probing. Shot taken, grabbed by the keeper. That ball goes out, and it will be a goal kick, they say. They look at the remaining schedule for today at 5 o'clock. Los Tigres will welcome Potros FC. Los Tigres' opportunity to make the playoffs is over, but they could hamper Potros a little bit. Potros is pretty much going to be guaranteed to make the playoffs but their ranking is what's really gonna be a factor right now. Again, top seven make the playoffs. Ingram. Rovos, Rovers just move the ball over to the left-hand side. Sexton not able gonna, to reach that. It goes out for a throw. Sent forward by City. Oh, 
White not able to control it. City going long, trying to make a quick change. They are able to do so for a second. Ingram. Over to Gregorio, and he goes back. Here's a mistake again by Rovers. City looking hungry. Ingram able to cut that pass off. Marcos trying to send it long to White. Goes back, able to control it. Foul, I believe. Or is it going to be knocked out for a throw? One thing that has changed dramatically when it comes to Stats here in the UPSL Georgia division is going to be the Golden Boot Race with all of those goals scored from Atlanta United Academy. It now puts Matthew DeJanier in top spot with 12 goals. Emmanuel Lom holding with him in North Georgia United, both of them with 12 goals. Here's an opportunity. Jay White, he's able to get around the keeper. Back, Marcos takes a shot and it's deflected and into the goal for Rovers. That gives them the step forward. That was the goal that they needed to get us on this campaign. We'll take a look at this again on the replay. You can see here, White catches the keeper off guard. Marcos tried to do a bit of a foot deflection was the keeper but it's not enough and it's into the back of the net and it's Atlanta Rovers 1 Atlanta City nil here in the 12th minute great goal for Marcos and now City already having to struggle to try to find a path forward they're going to be struggling even more, trying to get that ball up to number 10, Jaden Camus. Throw in. Marcos wins possession for Rovers. Quickly trying to transition forward. But nobody there. See number 21 of City, he's a little limp. Not sure if he maybe turned his ankle or something there. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Seems to be a little bit better. He's able to Still see a little bit of a, of a clip in his step, but he was able to do that pass, no problem. Marcos, up to Ingram. Ingram tried to give it back, still made it to, to Marcos. Sexton, he takes a shot, saved. Ah, oh, Ingram just not able to control it. And it's gonna go out for a goal kick. We look at the table, you can see Atlanta United Academies jumped over Dalton up to top spot with Dalton not playing this weekend. Dalton gives them a game in hand for them. They got two games left for this season. Atlanta United, one more game left. It'll be Wednesday night and we'll be bringing you that match. Atlanta United Academy and Kalanji Pro Profile, that is going to be fireworks Wednesday night. We will bring you all the coverage Last season in the spring, Atlanta United Academy was able to defeat Kalanji Pro Profile in the regular season and in the playoffs, 6-2 to two, both times. So can Atlanta United do it again? Can they secure a regular season title? Or can Dalton United somehow win another title? Right now, 
with all these goals that are scored right now, Atlanta United with a comfortable plus 38, 17 goal lead. As long as they can maintain, if they're able to win that game on Wednesday, Atlanta United will win the regular season. No matter what Dalton can do, they will have them on goal differential. City sending it forward. Here we go. Trying to work their way around, and it's going to be called offsides. A little bit of a delay on that call, but offsides is a call. One more win, and that will secure Atlanta United. They beat Dalton United 2-1 to one in the season. So if they come out with a victory over, over Kalanji Pro Profile, they will get to lift the trophy. You see a foul back there with by Luke Sexton. Sent long to Marcos, and it's going to go knocked out. It'll be a rover's throw. Ingram with the throw in to Marcos. Good turn. I tried to release it, just wasn't able to. Still have control of it. Gregorio. He sends it over to the far side. Long shot taken right into that keeper, but keeper's able to have a body in front of it and just get it to deflect straight up so he can get back on the second ball. Tell he can he felt that one. Big man in the middle able to control it. For City. See, he's just towering over some of those Rovers players. Rovers trying to quick transitions and are just not able to get it to the path of White. Sexton steps in front of that pass. Headed forward for City. Camus gets it forward. Trying a bit of a give and no, but not going to get that pass. Matthias and Ingram. Laid off to Gregorio, over to Sexton, forward, but again, White just not on the same page. Yes. 
City looking for the path. Able to get it to number nine. He lays it off. Shot taken. Oh, and that one doesn't miss by much for Atlanta City. Just a bit of a deflection there. It'll be a corner, I believe, for City. Going to be an in-swinger. Headed away by the captain. But it will be a throw. Ingram not able to control that. And that one just loops out for another throw. Trying to make their way through. Rennie able to send that ball out. It'll be a throw on that far side for City. City trying to find a path into that box. Find their way back into this match. Rovers defending well. Foot foul. Starting to see that called more and more. That call made on that far side from our AR1, Christopher Haggerty. Center ref, Claire Martinez doing a great job controlling. AR2, Diego Martinez and our fourth official, Ben Abrams. Referee squads working hard here in the UPSL Georgia division. Lots of matches covering throughout this season, not only for the Premier Division here, but also Division One. In the spring, we also have the kickoff of the Academy squads seasons. as well as a more in-depth Division I in the spring as we have far more teams that are joining in the spring season this year coming up. Quickly trying to get that ball up to Camus, but just got it all wrong. AR2 made the call there. Again, another foot foul on City. Ingram with the throw. Marcos controls it. Gregorio thought about going on that far side, elected to come on the near. White and Ingram trying to work off a one-two, but not able to get that forward was White. And that goes out for a throw for City. Rover's just been a little off the page on communication these last five, 10 minutes or so, ever since that goal in the 12th minute. But White, he's making his way through. That ball gets knocked out and it will be a corner for Rovers. A 
again, like we said, as we're gearing up, top seven teams, they make the playoffs. UMA's season is done. They're in the seventh spot. They need some help to stay there so that they can make their first playoff run in their inaugural season. Luke Sexton with the outswinger to the backside, headed straight up into the air, and it'll end up going out. It'll be a goal kick for City. Look at some of the other teams. Rovers, they're in sixth spot. They've got four games. That game that was in first week that was delayed at halftime due to weather has been removed from the lineup so that you can see raw numbers. So that's one match that they've got to make up. They got this match against City, and then they have games against North Georgia United away and FC Birmingham away. And then they will make up that 45 minutes against Legends at home. So they have got a lot of work to do in these last two weeks of the season. Expect to see a lot of games being played midweek and these next two weeks for these teams that need a lot of games. Like Kalanji Pro Profile, Rovers is another team that has a lot of work to do. FC Birmingham, North Georgia United, Veno Tinto, Atlanta, they each have two games in these last two weeks. Here's an opportunity. Is that a foul? Center referee says no. We'll take a look at it here in a second and we will see if we decide if that could have been a foul or not. Again, thank you for coming along with us all here in ASMG YouTube channel. Mistake by the defender almost. Right back. And that's an easy goal for Luke Sexton. Not going to be any easier than that. Take a look at this, folks. Mistake by the keeper, sending it back right into Luke Sexton's path. Nobody there marking him, and he has a wide open goal to choose where he wants to put it, and it's two to one, or excuse me, two nil, two nil, Atlanta Rovers over Atlanta City, and this is not going the way City needed it to go if they wanted to find themselves back into the playoffs. And you see number nine still arguing with center ref about that call. He wanted a penalty called. So goals for Marcos in the 12th minute and Luke Sexton in the 26th minute. And it is 2-0 Atlanta Rovers. Everything going good for Coach Alui. Remember back in the spring, Atlanta Rovers came out of the gates on all cylinders. Really had all numbers showing that they were going to be the team to beat. They had entered the top 25 in the, in the nation. Here's an opportunity. Marcos works around the defender. He slides it over, but that one's going to go out. Easily grabbed by the keeper. Couldn't tell if it was going to go out for a goal kick or if it, if the goalkeeper controlled it, but he did control it. He sends it forward. But in the spring, Atlanta Rovers, they made their way into the top 25 in the nation, and then the bottom fell out on their season. They lost the last five matches and found themselves knocked out of the playoffs completely. Major changes in the staff. Coaching staff changes. Owner and now coach, head coach, Coach Alui taking over. Major changes in the squad. And you can see that this season he's gotten them back into the form that he's expecting them to have. There's a foul committed by number 17. 
of City. He's also right over on top of, of White. He's gonna be lucky he didn't get a card or anything. Quickly taken up to Marcos. City just sitting back arguing about that call. Shot taken, deflected by the City defender. Hernandez doing a good job over there on that far side for Rovers, really upsetting those City players over there. Getting forward, just not able to connect with any of his teammates. Had a couple good shots on goal. Good give and go for City here on this near side. Lifted forward. Somehow, not quite sure how, but somehow Rob's able to, to out leap number nine for City. White wanted to give Ingram a run there, but not able to get the pass right. City, they control it. City now having to bring a few players back to defend with Rovers having so such a good attack right now. as we are just flying through this first half, 32nd minute we enter. Rovers two, Atlanta City nil. Again, thank you for coming along with us here at Lakeside High School, Atlanta, Georgia. Sent long to Ingram, but too long. Marcos, he's going to be fouled. And that looks like to be the first plastic of the day, and that's going to be issued to number 11. That coming in the 32nd minute. Foul on Marcos. Again, right now, Atlanta City is two points out of playoff contention. Losing this match would really give them a tough task. They would have to win against Potros FC away. Potros on fantastic form over there. They took the spring off, restructured their club, and they have been absolutely sensational to watch this season. In fourth, tied up there in that middle section, we have three teams with 17 points. They're technically in fifth spot, and that's based upon goal differential. They're the one team with a little bit of an asterisk coming in, them and UMA, because right now their goal differential is negative one. UMA, if they make it in the playoffs, they're in the playoffs right now with a negative four goal differential, but they have looked really well the last few weeks. And like we talked about last night, between myself and Dre, UMA, they started their season without their main starters. They were off to college assignments. So they played the first few weeks with their academy players and they had to start the season right off against Atlanta United Academy and Dalton United. So they were behind the eight ball really quick as this season started. Again, we'll go back and we'll look at the table. Potros, they have two matches to go. They have that match later on tonight against Los Tigres. And then they take on 
It's Atlanta City. And that that match will be next Sunday. Matthias steps in front of that pass, send it forward. It's going to be called offsides all the way back. As that pass was sent forward, this next week is going to be a busy, busy week as everyone is trying to make up those matches. Wednesday, Atlanta United plays Kalanchi Pro Profile. Thursday, Kalanchi Pro Profile goes down to Callaway Stadium, or actually, I'm sorry, that'll be Callaway High School, and they will take on Legends FC. The Grange High School, same thing. And that's a foul committed against Rovers. Getting a little heated. Everyone needs to calm down. Did not like that challenge one so bit. Officials coming in, getting this stopped. Coaching staff's getting all his players back. Somebody will be carded for this. We'll see who is going to. We have four matches next Saturday, three matches next Sunday. It's going to be a busy, busy weekend. AR talking to the center official. Center official coming over. Making sure that Coach Alui goes back to his box. Fourth official, AR, and the center having the conversation about what just happened. We see the card coming out. That's going to be a red card issued. Hart with a red card here in the 38th minute. And a red card issued to number 17, it looks like, as well. So red cards on both sides. Both sides will go down to 10 men. Also red card for Atlanta City. Number 17 of Atlanta City with the red and red card for number eight heart each side going down to 10 men good conversation going on between the entire staff controlling this city you can see number 17 of city just absolutely incensed over his removal from the game You can see City's squad just trying to get him off the field so that we can get this game back underway <laughs> to the point to where they're just pulling him off the field. Yeah. 
at this point, he's gonna he's running the risk of being banned for an extended amount of time here. As you know, here, fourth division U.S. soccer, it is development not only for players but for referees, for staff, for everybody. This is not something that you need here in the sport. These players that act like this, this is the part where we're working on, or I should say the league is working on getting this removed completely. Center official giving him an opportunity to speak, which is something that she does not have to do. She's already made the call. We've already been going on with this situation for three to four minutes. We're going to probably see some extra time. You see, again, speaking to the AR about the situation. Again, let's go back to the schedule. You can see Atlanta City FC and Atlanta Rovers. This match that's going on right now, 5 o'clock. Club the strongest. They take on Potros FC at 5 o'clock. You look at the golden boot race. Atlanta United's Matthew Dejane is tied at the top of the table with Emmanuel Lam from North Georgia United at 12 goals. Patrick Okonkwo in third place for Kalaji Pro Profile. And then a bit of a equation there between Stephen Herlock, Pavel Garmendia at eight, Valencia, Jaden with seven, and then Sam Hernandez and Musese with six. The Rovers just sitting back discussing. You'd like to see number nine of City just completely away from what is going on there. Again, the table, top seven, they move on. Let's also talk about the bottom of the table. Bottom two teams, they are relegated to Division One As of right now, Los Tigres and Legends FC are in that bottom of the table. Legends FC, they have... Dalton United to play. They have Kalanchi Pro Profile to play. They have FC Birmingham to play. They also have the Rovers Makeup 45 to play. So they have a lot of teams to play that can really solidify themselves either at the bottom or they might be able to pull off a couple points and get their way out. It's all up to them if they want to make it to the spring in Premier, or could they find themselves in, into Division One? Los Tigres, they've also got a hard task as they are at the bottom of the table. They've got Potros today. They've still got to take on SSL, and they've got to take on Vino Tinto. So they've got a tough task to find some points as well. We're already here stumbling into the 45th minute. The red card's coming in the 38th minute, so we are going to see a significant amount of stoppage after all of this. 
And this will end up being, I believe this will end up being a drop ball after all this is said, and, or probably just a, a, a free kick after all this is said and done as the fouls on both sides, the foul was committed by the Rovers and then a retaliation which led to a bit of a scrum which led to the two red cards and both teams now at 10 men. Yeah, we're still waiting for number 17 to leave from Atlanta City. Hart has already left. Back underway. Again, yes, it will be a, a free kick for City. As we finally get back underway, what is technically the 46th minute, but expect at least six minutes of stoppage time at least. And I could see over on the far side, the AR, Christopher Haggerty taking a big sigh of relief after all that drama that was played out over those seven, eight minutes. So we have two teams with 10 men. Atlanta Rovers leading 2 0. Expect six minutes of stoppage time. Ingram goes back to the captain. He goes all the way back to Jonathan. He sends it long. Over on that far side. Controlled. Hernandez moving forward. Trying to get the ball up to White. Not going to be able to do so. Luke wins the ball for Rovers. White just couldn't do anything with it. Ingram steps in front of that pass. Wins it for Rovers. Gregorio goes all the way back. And they recycle it all the way back to the keeper. Rob going down that far side. Ramos to Sexton. White. And he just doesn't get it right. Decides to try to take it first time. And he just gets it absolutely wrong. You see here, Sexton with an absolutely perfect ball forward. Could have had a touch on it and decided to take it with his right, and he just doesn't have his body in a proper position. And that ball, way out for a goal kick. Entering the 50th minute. Expect whistle to be called in the next minute or so. Bit of a delay. Here's an opportunity. Called offside was Jaden. 
We had a bit of a delay, about seven, eight minutes due to a red card that was issued to both number eight, Hart for Rovers, as well as number 17 for Atlanta City. That one just absolutely all wrong from Marcos, and it goes out via throw for City. Back in play. Deflected off of Hernandez, out for another City throw. He makes it around Ramos, but Rob's able to clear it out. Back to number nine. And that ball's kind of deflected into the keeper. Number nine took that foul and one of the slowest falls to the ground trying to earn a foul and not going to get it. Marcos. Loses it. City. Going back and recycling the ball is City. Moving through midfield, lifting it over to the near side, trying to give a run for Jaden. He's into the box. Deflected off of Gregorio. Ingram. Finding space. Sends it long. But not going to get it to White. Again, Rover still looking for the fast transition. Just not able to do so. Opportunity. City. They give it right back to the Rovers. Gregorio being smart, giving it back to the captain, Rennie. Go all the way back to the keeper. Utilize every second that you can. We're six minutes in. Coming into the seventh minute of stoppage. See how much. Sexton wins the ball off of the defender. He's into the box. Two men behind him. They're just able to get enough of it to earn the ball for City. Luke Sexton kind of delayed himself. He probably should have taken that shot a few steps sooner, and he might have had an opportunity for a goal. Sent long by the keeper. City looking for another path of attack. Come over here to the near side. Coming all the way back for an injury. Center back for City down. Calling for a trainer. We are deep, deep, deep into stoppage time here. We're now eight minutes into stoppage time. Again, thank you for joining us for this coverage, UPSL Georgia Premier Division Action Week 12, Atlanta City FC and Atlanta Rovers FC. Atlanta Rovers with the 2-0 lead right now. Today's broadcast brought to you by Images Frozen in Time. If you're looking for any photography needs, whether it be weddings, graduations, special ceremonies, please look up Images Frozen in Time as well as bringing you all the statistical coverage, non-pro soccer. 
take care of all statistical knowledge here at the lower base, lower tiers of soccer, non-pro soccer, all the way from, from amateur through the professionals. Website to give you all the info. Look up nonprosoccer.com. Now 10 minutes into extra time, as you see the defender for City over on the sidelines. Going to go ahead. I believe we're going to have a drop ball to get us back underway. At this point, we will see what the center official decides is going to be how much time is remaining because we went well past what I was expecting. Rovers elect just to send it back. The gentleman decision. Let's see what uh, I believe that number four's day is probably done for City. We'll see if they elect to make the change here in the first half or if they will wait for halftime since it should be here rather quickly. Swarmed three men from Rovers on top of the, coming out on top, sliding it over to Sexton. He's wide open in front of the goal and he puts it away like it is just candy from a baby. Atlanta Rovers, three nil. That gives Sexton his second goal of the day. We take a look at the second goal for Luke Sexton. They win the ball. Three men off of him over to Sexton from Hernandez, and he just puts it away with all the time in the world to decide where he wanted to put it. 3-0 Atlanta Rovers. That goal coming in the 57th minute, and that's not second half. That's first half. This is the first half that seems like it never wants to end. We had that long, long delay due to the scrum that led to two red cards in the 38th minute. One red card for each side. City really putting themselves in a bad position. Ball in, somehow just not. There's the time for the first half. So we go into halftime. Atlanta Rovers three, Atlanta City nil. It's quite an entertaining and quite an interesting first half. Atlanta Rovers with three great goals. The 12th minute goal from Marcos, number 24, and then Two goals for Luke Sexton in the 26th minute and in the 57th minute. We had two red cards issued in the 38th minute. One for number eight, Heart of Rovers, and also number 17 for Atlanta City. And that will do it for the first 45. We will step away for a few moments, and we'll be back for the second 45 between 
Atlanta Rovers and Atlanta City FC. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. Hey coach, is your game going to be live streamed? Can't find a broadcast partner? I have the solution for you. It's time to contact the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. The Atlantic Soccer Media Group will provide you with the most extensive live coverage and affordable rates to bring your club's matches to your fans. So they will never miss any of the action Shot ripped. It's in! Dalton United at the death of the game. They go ahead, and this stadium is sent to raptures. And bring them along with you as you raise the trophy. Gentlemen, say it with them. They are the champions. So what are you waiting for? For the best and easiest coverage, national exposure, attract sponsors, interact with your fans, work with scouts from around the world, Contact the Atlantic Soccer Media Group. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthew's shot taken. Easily grabbed by the... Veno Tinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into... Here's an opportunity for City. Tear these last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City, they're probing. Shot taken. Grabbed by the keeper. He's... Able to get around the keeper. Back. Marcos takes a shot and it's deflected and into the goal for Rover. Ingram tried to give it back. Still made it to, to Marcos. Sexton, he takes a shot. Saved. Ah, oh, Ingram just not able to. Gregorio, he sends it over to the far side. Long shot taken, right in. City, looking for the path, able to get it to number nine. He lays it off, shot taken. Oh, and that one doesn't miss. Georgia United, Veno Tinto, Atlanta, they each have two games in these last two weeks. Here's an opportunity. Is that a foul? 
channel. Mistake by the defender almost. Right back. And that's an easy goal for Luke Sexton. Five in the, in the nation. Here's an opportunity. Marcos works around the defender. He slides it over. But that one's going to go out. Ramos to Sexton, White, and he just doesn't get it. Right to the seventh minute of stoppage. See how much, Sexton wins the ball off of the defender. He's into the box, two men behind him. They're just able to get enough of it. On top of the, coming out on top, sliding it over to Sexton. He's wide open in front of the goal, and he puts it away like it is. Just candy from a baby. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthew's shot taken. Easily grabbed by. Then Otinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into, here's an opportunity for City. Tear. These last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City, they're probing. Shot taken, grabbed by the keeper. He's able to get around the keeper. Back, Marcos takes a shot, and it's deflected and into the goal for Rovers. Ingram tried to give it back, still made it to, to Marcos. Sexton, he takes a shot, saved. Ah, oh, Ingram just not able to. Gregorio, he sends it over to the far side. Long shot taken. Right in. City, looking for the path. Able to get it to number nine. He lays it off. Shot taken. Oh, and that one doesn't miss. Georgia United, Veno Tinto, Atlanta, they each have two games in these last two weeks. Here's an opportunity. Is that a foul? You know, mistake by the defender almost. Right back. And that's an easy goal for Luke Sexton. Five in the, in the nation. Here's an opportunity. Marcos works around the defender. He slides it over, but that one's going to go out. Ramos to Sexton. White. And he just doesn't get it. Right. The seventh minute of stoppage. See how much. Sexton wins the ball off of the defender. He's into the box. Two men behind him. They're just able to get enough of it. On top of the. Coming out on top, sliding it over to Sexton. He's wide open in front of the goal, and he puts it away like it is just candy from a baby. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthew's shot taken. Easily grabbed by Veno Tinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into, here's an opportunity for City. Tear these last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City, they're probing. Shot taken, grabbed by the keeper. He's able to get around the keeper. Back, Marcos takes a shot, and it's deflected and into the goal for Rover. Ingram tried to give it back, still made it to, to Marcos. Sexton, he takes a shot, saved. Ah, oh, Ingram just not able to. Gregorio, he sends it over to the far side. Long shot taken. Right in. City, looking for the path. Able to get it to number nine. He lays it off, shot taken. Oh, and that one doesn't miss. Georgia United, Veno Tinto, Atlanta, they each have two games in these last two weeks. Here's an opportunity. Is that a foul? You know, 
Mistake by the defender almost. Right back. And that's an easy goal for Luke Sexton. Five in the, in the nation. Here's an opportunity. Marcos works around the defender. He slides it over. But that one's going to go out. Ramos to Sexton. White. And he just doesn't get it right. The seventh minute of stoppage. See how much Sexton wins the ball off of the defender. He's into the box. Two men behind him. They're just able to get enough of it. Numbers on top of the coming out on top, sliding it over to Sexton. He's wide open in front of the goal, and he puts it away like it is just candy from a baby. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthew's shot taken. Easily grabbed by Veno Tinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into here's an opportunity for City. Tear these last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City, they're probing. Shot taken, grabbed by the keeper. He's able to get around the keeper. Back. Marcos takes a shot and it's deflected and into the goal for Rover. Ingram tried to give it back, still made it to, to Marcos. Sexton, he takes a shot, saved. Ah, oh, Ingram just not able to. Gregorio, he sends it over to the far side. Long shot taken right in. City looking for the path, able to get it to number nine. He lays it off, shot taken. Oh, and that one doesn't miss. Georgia United, Veno Tinto, Atlanta, they each have two games in these last two weeks. Here's an opportunity. Is that a foul? You know, mistake by the defender almost. Right back. And that's an easy goal for Luke Sexton. Five in the, in the nation. Here's an opportunity. Marcos works around the defender. He slides it over. But that one's going to go out. Ramos to Sexton. White. And he just doesn't get it right. The seventh minute of stoppage. See how much Sexton wins the ball off of the defender. He's into the box. Two men behind him. They're just able to get enough of it. Numbers on top of the coming out on top, sliding it over to Sexton. He's wide open in front of the goal, and he puts it away like it is just candy from a baby. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthew's shot taken. Easily grabbed by Veno Tinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into here's an opportunity for City. Tear these last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City, they're probing. Shot taken, grabbed by the keeper. He's able to get around the keeper. Back. Marcos takes a shot, and it's deflected and into the goal for Rover. Ingram tried to give it back, still made it to, to Marcos. Sexton, he takes a shot, saved. Ah, oh, Ingram just not able to. Gregorio, he sends it over to the far side. Long shot taken right in. City looking for the path, able to get it to number nine. He lays it off, shot taken. Oh, and that one doesn't miss. Georgia United, Veno Tinto, Atlanta, they each have two games in these last two weeks. Here's an opportunity. Is that a foul? You know, 
Mistake by the defender almost. Right back. And that's an easy goal for Luke Sexton. Five in the, in the nation. Here's an opportunity. Marcos works around the defender. He slides it over. But that one's going to go out. Ramos to Sexton. White. And he just doesn't get it right. The seventh minute of stoppage. See how much. Sexton wins the ball off of the defender. He's into the box. Two men behind him. They're just able to get enough of it. On top of the, coming out on top, sliding it over to Sexton. He's wide open in front of the goal, and he puts it away like it is just candy from a baby. There's a long ball for City. Getting around Matthew's shot taken. Easily grabbed by Veno Tinto's path to the playoffs is over. We went into here's an opportunity for City. Tear these last few matches, putting up some absolutely sensational numbers. Atlanta City. Proven shot taken. And welcome back here to Lakeside High School. I hope everybody had a moment to take a breath from that first 45 that rolled all the way into almost 60 minutes in. 3 0 is where we find ourselves. Atlanta Rovers ahead of Atlanta City FC. You saw from the highlights there at halftime goals in the 12th minute from Marcos, number 24 and Luke Sexton, number 10, with a brace in the 26th and 57th minute of that first half. In the 38th minute, we had red cards issued to number eight, Hart, and number 17 of Atlanta City. We had an opportunity to go back and watch that little build up a play, and it's going to be reviewed by the board for play here in the UPSL setup. And you can see that the actual foul was committed by number seven of Atlanta City, not by number 17. So it'll be interesting to see if maybe that red card is removed from number 17 and moved over to number seven in the meetings that the UPSL has so we'll be interested to see how that's handled by the committee that handles those types of actions. But that leaves us to a 3-0 lead for Rovers at half. We've talked several times in that first half in regards to the table. Right now, before we came into this match, Atlanta Rovers in sixth place in the playoffs with 14 points. So Win now is going to put them in a tie race. They'll stay right where they are in sixth place, but they will be tied with Kalanji, SSL, and Potros all at 17 points. Their goal differential is not enough for them to jump ahead of anybody. But if they can earn a few more goals in that second half, it might give them a chance to move up. They still have several games to make up. So they have the opportunity to maybe push ahead. Atlanta Rovers, they still have a way to North Georgia United, a way to FC Birmingham, and then they have a home match with Legends FC is the second half of week one that was paused at halftime due to weather, and it was 1-1 when that game was postponed. Atlanta Rovers are gonna get us back underway. 
They're in their blue kits with black shorts. They're going to be moving from right to left. City in their red tops, white shorts. They're going to be moving from left to right. We're still waiting for Atlanta City to take the field. Again, at 5 o'clock, we will have the last match of the season or of this week, which is Club the Strongest welcoming Potros FC. With a win there, Potros can push themselves up into third place. Great season that Potros is having. We have a substitute coming on for City. Bit of a last minute change here before we start this 45. And we're underway for the second 45 here at Lakeside High School. Again, thank you for joining us here on this Veterans Weekend. Thank you for all those veterans that have served or who are still serving. Thank you for your service for us. City's going to get us underway, moving down this near side. Deflected. And out for a throw. Again, as we started today, seven teams make the playoffs. We had 11 teams that had an opportunity. The early game, Veno Tinto losing 10-0 to Atlanta United Academy. That knocks Veno Tinto out of a chance for the playoffs. We're down to 10 teams fighting for seven spots. This loss by City, if it stands, won't completely knock them out, but it will make it almost an impossible task because they've still got to take on Potros FC. That ball went out for a throw. Get us back underway was Ramos. A few changes made from the Rover squad. Number 19 coming in at halftime, as well as number 17. Here's a chance for White, and he's just not able to get there. He had a opportunity from Sexton just didn't get it right on see here Ingram slides it over to Sexton Sexton lifts it in and just a step behind was white Going all the way back to the keeper. City with the ball. Sends it long, does the keeper. Marcos. He sends it long, gets it up to Sexton. Sexton's working down this left-hand side. Slides it across to White. Not able to get it to him. Atlanta, 
up to the newly entered 17. He gets it over, ah, just behind Sexton and White, and it rolls out for a throw for City. Foul going to be committed there on Sexton. See here on this foul, ball gets up to him and just steps through him, and yes, indeed, that is a foul. Two players that came on, number 17, Figueroa, and number 19, Del Rio. Sexton takes this shot, just pushed off by the keeper. Will be a corner. First corner of the second half. Figueroa is going to be the one that's going to take it. Lifted in, out swinger. Sexton gets there. He tries to send it forward, not able to get it to anybody. Now a break opportunity for City. Number nine gets around Raw, gets around Ingram, but he's not able to get around. Number he, he wasn't able to get around number 12, Ramos. Got it back to the keeper. City again. Jaden gets it forward, but they're not able to control that, and that is out for a goal kick. Jonathan's going to get us back underway. He's going to send it long on that far side. Ingram receives it. No foul. A little slow from the keeper as they were arguing about that foul, and it'll be a goal kick. As you can see here, calling for a foul right there. And a bit of a slow send out, and it just bounces off of Figueroa. And that's going to be a bit of a mistake trying to clear that ball. And it's going to be Hernandez and Gregorio, number 7 and 25, respectively, that left the game for... Figueroa and Del Rio for the Rovers. Both teams playing with 10 men. Unfortunately, we don't have an active roster for Atlanta City for this match. Marcos cleared that ball off for the Rovers. All the way back to Jonathan. Goes up to Del Rio. Not the best of passes from Del Rio to the captain, but they made it work. Del Rio now sending it forward. Sexton trying to make a turn around two players. He's not able to do so, but he immediately puts the pressure on City. A little bit of a bottleneck of the possession there between both teams. Finally sent forward for City. And they lose possession again. Now, Rovers on the march. They move down this right-hand side. He's onside. He tries to slide it across to Figueroa, but not going to get it right. That's going to be a throw for City. Get 
again, we had two red cards issued to each team. One for each team. And here's another mistake right into the possession of Sexton, and he takes it. But in the 38th minute of the first half, each team received one red card. Don't forget that in the UPSL, not only are you going to be suspended, but you're also going to have a monetary fine for a red card. So not the kind of outing that these players were wanting. He's able to keep it in. Jaden having to come all the way back in the midfield. They lose possession. He's going to have to defend this. Jaden came as a player that has been around the league with many clubs. Played for FC Matata. Played for Kalanji Pro Profile. He's playing for Atlanta City this season. Rovers again with possession. Just didn't get that pass right to Ingram. Marcos knows it as soon as he let it go. This result is going the way of UMA. They need some help if they want to make the playoffs. They're sitting in that final spot. It would be an absolute amazing comeback for them. The beginning of the season, they were at the bottom of the table, and they now find themselves in the playoffs. Rennie having to make some mistakes there, and they, City, how they made a mistake, how Jaden missed that, I'm not going to know because Rennie, the captain, absolutely got that all wrong watch the transition here he gives it up to number nine all Jaden has to do is slot it and he just gets it absolutely wrong trying to go to the near post and gets it completely wrong Cut off that pass was City on the march again. Number nine goes down. Such a just large frame. He's going to earn a foul. He has such a large frame. He was trying, center official was trying to call advantage. We I mean, just look at how much height he has on Del Rio. Del Rio is comes to his armpit. He is just so much taller. That one taken a little quicker than City was even ready. Shot take it, and that one goes over the bar. It's one of those times where the when your own teammates ruin it for you because you take it before your strikers are even ready. You see here, he takes the shot. They weren't even prepared. Jaden gave him an opportunity, slotted it back. The shot was taken, and it's well over the bar. Jonathan sends it out, but he puts it right in the path of City. It's one of the things I can't say enough for goalkeepers is work on when you're those goal kicks. It's got to go to teammates' feet. Here's an opportunity, and that one just slides through. That'll be a corner for City. Be their first of the second half. When it comes to keepers, when you send that out, whether it's a goal kick or whether it's just clearing it out, you need to get it to teammates' feet. So you don't want to give your opponent an opportunity. In swinger coming in. Headed away by the captain. City. Back in. Bouncing around. Cleared away acrobatically from... Rennie, the captain of the Rovers, but White not able to control that bounce. But Rovers trying to cross it up to Sexton. 
Not the greatest of clearances there for City, but they're able to do so. Jaden's on the ball now. Into the box. Sliding it. But it's going to be another corner. Both teams with three corners so far. This will be another in-swinger. Somehow punched away from number nine, Jonathan. So far, I've just been absolutely dumbfounded that number nine for City is not winning every single header as he is almost a foot above everybody on the Rover squad. Thrown in, Del Rio. Del Rio, another player that has been in the league for a while and been around from a couple different teams, been with the Rovers for a little bit. And that one is a beautiful goal from White. Absolutely glorious goal for Atlanta Rovers. This one is just a unbelievable pass from Ingram past the defense and White got it absolutely right that time with just getting it on frame past the keeper and it is 4-0 Atlanta Rovers over Atlanta City. It looks like Luke Sexton might have a little bit of a cut on his arm that they're attending to over on the sideline. So currently Atlanta Rovers are down to nine men. White again. This time he gives it back to the goal to the helper from last time, Ro, uh, Ingram, and that is going to be a penalty. No how, no way, and that is going to be a yellow card issued to the keeper as well here in the 62nd minute. Has no choice but to make that call as a center official because you can see here White giving it to. Ingram, the assist from the last last goal, right through the two defenders. The keeper comes out and just completely takes out Ingram and nothing that the center official can do. That is going to be a yellow and a penalty in the 62nd minute. The captain, number two, stepping up to take this penalty, number two. Randy Matthews. Oh, and he gets it absolutely wrong. He tried to get cheeky with it. It's still 4-0. Atlanta Rovers over Atlanta City. You take a look at this chance, and he just absolutely. Now, the question is, did he do it on purpose? Or did he just get it wrong? When, when you're up by four, are you wanting to inflict more damage, or do you want to give your teammate a little bit of leniency? That one deflected off of City. They get possession. Now trying to transition over to the far side with Jaden Camus. Able to get it to him. He makes his way into the box. Tries to hit it with his right. 
And that one was really, really close. Good deflection by the keeper, Jonathan. Be another corner. You can see here. Camus, he comes all the way in. Takes it with his right. And great save there by the keeper. Outswinger. Headed back in, tried to get it, deflected again, and that one's out. It'll be a goal kick. Just about to enter the 66th minute. I gotta call a handball on Marcos. This one is going to be about 25 yards out. Lifted into the box. Rennie heads it up and Figueroa clears it out. White battling with City. City clears it. But Marcos, he wins possession and he's going to be fouled. Just about get back underway here by Ramos. Over to Matthias. He sends it long to that far side. Able to shoulder it was Sexton. He's back on since that injury. Number nine. Fighting. Back and forth. City with possession. Camus again trying to do something over there on that far side, but he's not able to get around the captain for the Rovers. And Jonathan was able to clear it. Bit of a tackle there from City on Marcos, no foul called. Matthias battling, that ball's deflected off of the City player, it'll go out for a throw for the Rovers. Coming into the 69th minute. All the way back to the keeper. Del Rio going up through the midfield to White, back to Ingram. He's moving through the midfield over to White. He goes back to Ingram. He surveys, give and go, shot. Oh, Sexton just did not get there in time. Yeah. 
City back underway here as we enter the 70th minute. Atlanta Rovers four, Atlanta City nil. Sent forward by the keeper, Sexton. Trying to get that ball forward to White, but he didn't get the right avenue of that pass. White wanted on the far side. Sexton went for the central pass. Matthias tried to clear it. Great save by Jonathan. Mistake by the Rovers defender, but Jonathan making it work for him. See here on this replay, this is a beautiful ball forward for the Rovers. Comes across a 20, he takes it, and a great save by the keeper. Rob didn't get that marking in the right setup. Ball went off property, so they're having to locate it. As we're 71 minutes in. Now we have a ball in play. City win the possession in the midfield. But that ball not going to be able to get it to number 20. But they win the ball off of Ingram, and that is going to be a penalty on the other way around. This one's going to be a penalty for City. Take a look here. Ingram, he wins possession. Good battle with number 15. Tries to step in and gets it wrong. And a penalty is called. Could this be an opportunity for City to at least get on the board, get something out of today? And number nine is going to be the one that's going to be taking it for City. Lines up, hits it with his. Oh, what a save from Jonathan. Absolutely the best save of the day. He had to get that right, and he did so to the point to where he even hurt himself. What a save from the keeper. What a highlight here. He's lined up. He's ready to go. It's coming on that far side. He jumps. He saves. Oh, and he landed right on that hip flexor. And you can tell that he's feeling that one. So many times. As a goalkeeper, you make those saves. You put your body on the line. And you just feel it throughout that body. Last fall, as we covered the UPSL National Tournament, South Carolina Heat's keeper, did basically the same thing in the qualifying going through. They made it all the way to the final four. And 
he had that hip flexor battling all through the playoffs every single game. So this is this is one of those that will you will feel for some time. And like I said, Rovers, they still have three matches to conclude their season. Still need the services of Jonathan. Again, this will give us the time. Let's look at that once again. You see here, lining up for the penalty was number nine. He's going to try to take it on that far post. And an absolutely great jump save from Jonathan, but he landed right on that hip flexor, and he is still. And also remember, we are dealing with some, and we're going to have a substitute goalkeeper come on for the Rovers, not want to risk it. Like I said, here this weekend, a little bit cooler temperatures than we're used to having in the Atlanta region. 58 degrees is our high for today. Eight mile an hour wind. Back underway in the 77th minute. Oh, and it lifts its way. That's the header that we keep talking about for number nine. Missed the penalty, but he makes it up with that header. We've been saying time and time again, Atlanta City, they just need to lift a ball in. You see here, number 15, he lifts it forward. Number nine just gets ahead on it. Nothing that the brand new entered keeper can do. And it's all of a sudden four to one. Seventy seventh minute. Thierry Jules, number nine, with the goal score in the 76th minute. Sent long from Marcos up to White. He's able to outrun the defender, but he also outruns the ball. Movement around the field for the Rovers. Just not able to do anything with that movement, allowing City regain possession. We're going back and forth a little bit. Del Rio over to White. White slides into the box, but just right into the path of the defense of City. Again, both of these teams playing with 10 men. A red card for each side in the 38th minute. Goals for Marcos, White, and a brace for Sexton for Atlanta Rovers. 
Number nine, Jules, with a goal for Atlanta City. Four to one. Ten minutes plus stoppage time. Should be significantly less amount of stoppage than we had in the first half due to that red card situation. Figueroa trying to do something on this near side, gets pushed off the ball, wanted a foul, not going to get it. Sexton coming back, winning the ball for Rovers. Working around the one man, not around the second man. Going to have the advantage though, and it's going to be a foul for the Rovers. Del Rio taking a moment to plead the case for the issuing of a little bit of plastic, not going to get so. Sexton might have taken a little bit of a shot to the mouth already with a cut on his forearm on the left side. She's having to talk with him about, again, more cutting on Sexton. He's just having one of those days. Again, remember... Any time that blood is witnessed on a player, has to be treated. Got a substitute coming on for Atlanta City. The defender, number 11, his day is done. Yeah, you could really see as, as Sexton turned around there, you could see his mouth just busted open. Hopefully that's not anything to do with a, with a tooth. Looks like Sexton may be going to the locker room. 82nd minute. Ingram sliding it across, not able to get it up there. Yeah, it looks like they went ahead and replaced Sexton to be on the safe side. He was replaced with number 30, Michelson. Better be, after two injuries, it's better to be safe than sorry. You're up by three goals. There's only about eight minutes left plus stoppage time. There, finally, another substitute for the defense of Atlanta City, number four coming off. Rovers with possession on that far side, coming all the way back to Rob. He goes all the way back to the keeper. Great game for Sexton, two goals. Good to see he's continuing to get back into form after that injury he suffered a few seasons back. Took him a while to get back into form. Still out there on the sideline, so good to see him not end up having to go to the locker room. White trying to slide it across to Marcos. Not able to do so, but still in possession is the Rovers. Crossing it back over to Ingram. Tried to do something acrobatic. It's deflected out. Will be. She's calling it a goal kick. It should be a corner. You can see the AR is calling for the corner. And indeed, the AR is calling in a corner. They're gonna, looks like they're gonna elect to take it on the near side over here. Figueroa is going to take this to be an in-swinger. 
Oh, and that one almost caught him off guard. Matthias is calling, saying, what about a handball? That one hit the American football goal and out for a goal kick. White with possession, Michelson over to Marcos. He takes a long shot and that's a well over the bar out for a goal kick. Back underway here as we're in the 86th minute. Going long. Fighting for it, deflected out, Matthias. But it's still gonna be called the corner for City. City with still has fight in them. Down by three, only four minutes plus stoppage time left. Be an outswinger from 15 into the box, headed again. They got it to Jules. He just didn't get it on frame right. A little bit of a collision with Rob. Again, you should have kickoff over with Club the Strongest and Potros FC. Out for a throw for City. Bit of a tug back and Marcos is going to earn that foul. Tug back by the City player. Eighty-eight minutes into the match, Atlanta Rovers four, Atlanta City one. It's a great result for the Rovers to extend their process into the playoffs. At this point, it's all about earning ranking be potential to be a home field advantage in the playoffs. During the playoffs, all top seeded teams have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. If you wanna go back and watch one of the most entertaining and exciting matches in the playoffs, go back and watch the finals of the spring playoffs between Atlanta United Academy and Dalton United going to extra time, one of the most back and forth matches. It was a beautiful match to cover. Dalton United made their way into the national playoffs as the, here's a chance, grabbed by the keeper. The winner of the Georgia playoffs <clears throat> enters 
the national playoffs. Whoever wins it for Georgia, either December 16th or 17th, they will take on the winners of the Kentucky-Tennessee Conference. Last few seasons, it's been Tennessee Tempo that has that position. But this season, they have a bit of a challenge up there in Kentucky-Tennessee Conference as Pre-College DA and St. Louis Academy are really giving them a work for their money. Here's an opportunity, newly entered, number 14 for Rovers. There's going to be a foul committed by Ramos. 90th minute. How much time are we going to see stoppage? Shot taken, saved by the keeper. Relined up, another save. Beautiful double save from the backup goalkeeper. Look at this double save here for the keeper. Coming in on that far side, shot taken, he saves it. Back up, has to save it yet again from both sides, and he's able to do so. Great work by the keeper. Here comes another in-swinger. He punches that one out. So hard to come on late in a match from a keeper, having to be colder than everybody else, not up to game speed, but have to quickly be prepared. Marcos, he sends it forward to the newly entered 14, who does get it right, gets it over to Figueroa. He's on a run. Is he going to go over to Michelson? No, he's going to take it himself, and he gets it wrong. Goal kick. That could have sealed the deal and the nail in the coffin for the Rovers. But Figueroa gets that shot wrong. It's not on frame. We've got an injured player on both sides of the pitch, one for the Rovers and one for City. The newly entered 14 is the player that was injured for the Rovers. When he released that ball up to Figueroa, got a little bit of a aftermarket challenge. He's walking that off. Going to be a drop ball to get us back underway here in the 92nd minute. Never saw a report for how many minutes of stoppage time we're going to get here. Back and forth. That one's knocked out, will be a Rover's throw. Just about done here at Lakeside High School. Atlanta Rover's coming in. Going to earn the victory, Michelson. Just able to get enough of a touch on that to get it up to the keeper instead of into Jules' possession. And they are able to clear it, are the Rovers. Send it forward. City win possession. But Ingram, he makes the cutoff. Again, win it right back. Back and forth in the midfield we go in possession base. And that is it here at Lakeside High School. It ends four to one. Atlanta Rovers over Atlanta City FC doesn't completely knock Atlanta City out of the playoffs, but it makes the rest of it very, very difficult for them. You can see in the updated table, Atlanta United Academy at the top at 28 points. Dalton United just a step behind them. They still have two games to make up. However, 
Atlanta United defeated Dalton during the season. They also have a great goal differential against them. So if Atlanta United Academy can go into Wednesday night in the match at home against Kalanji Pro Profile and win, they will lift the regular season title. Atlanta Rovers, they will jump all the way up to third place with this win. They still have three games to make up. They've got to play North Georgia United away, FC Birmingham away, and then make up that 45 minutes with Legends FC from week one, where it's a 1-1 draw. Kalanji Pro Profile, SSL, and Potros FC all at 17 points with the Rovers. Right now, that match between the strongest and the Rovers are going on right now. It's 14 minutes into the match. It's nil-nil. UMA makes up that last spot in the playoffs with 14 points. This loss here gives Atlanta City a last-ditch effort next week against Potros. They have to earn a win or they're out of the playoffs. Veno Tinto with their loss today against Atlanta United, they're out of the playoffs. North Georgia United, they still mathematically could make it into the playoffs. They have to take on the Rovers at home and Kalanji away. It's not going to be easy. FC Birmingham, they have a mathematical chance. They've got to take on Legends and they've got to take on Rovers. So they don't have an easy way as well. Those are teams that at the beginning and early part of the season were down at the bottom of the table. So we have seen a lot of changes this season. Teams that were at the bottom have found their way up to the top and vice versa. But that is where it's going to end today. Your winners, Atlanta Rovers 4, Atlanta City 1. Thank you for watching. I've been Larry Weaver, Andre Bomar on the camera. We will see you on Wednesday for Kalaji Pro Profile and Atlanta United Academy. Until then, thank you. Enjoy your weekend. This has been a presentation of the UPSL. Any use of this broadcast without the written consent of the Atlantic Soccer Media Group is prohibited.